Colorado woman makes history halfway across the globe. Sarah Thomas, a breast cancer survivor, today finished more than 54 hours of swimming. Amazing. She swam four times in a row across the English Channel between the United Kingdom and France. Our Tori Mason live now at DU, where she was part of a master's swim team there. And Tori, we can't even begin to imagine what she went through to make this happen. I'm exhausted just thinking about it. She couldn't stop to rest or eat. She would drink a solution full of electrolytes that her team would throw to her in a water bottle. She couldn't even touch the boat for support. This woman just swam for more than two days straight. Well done, Sarah! It's going to be awfully hard to stand after all that time. It had been more than 54 hours since Sarah Thomas stood on land. You must feel ecstatic. I feel a little sick. She just became the first person to swim across the English Channel four times nonstop. I feel just mostly stunned right now. I just can't believe that we did it. She made history this week on the shore of Dover, but a few years ago, she was swimming in Denver. Awesome, epic, epic swim. Before she quadruple crossed the pond, the Colorado woman and DU grad raced in the Horse Tooth Reservoir. I knew what to expect from the currents and the weather and the, and the cold, so I was very prepared for the amount of time that I was going to be in the water. Thomas showed an incredible amount of strength, but says this isn't her strongest. Oh, my husband said, keep going. It's a familiar cheer, one she heard while fighting breast cancer last year. My crew was really great about helping me out and helping me stay strong. The size of her fight was no match for jellyfish, strong currents, and salt water. It really hurts your throat and your mouth and your tongue. She's still having trouble using her voice, but she won't need it for her celebration plan. Hopefully I can sleep the rest of the day. I am pretty out of it and pretty tired right now for sure. I'm tired for her. Now, that swim was supposed to be about 80 miles, but the strong tides made it end up about 130 miles. Just think about that. And when she got on shore, she celebrated with uh, champagne and M&Ms, the meal of champions, right? We're live in Denver. Tori Mason covering Colorado first. Just incredible, Tori. Thank you.